Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have our second video for when we are away So this is gonna be the last one I'm making While I'm gonna be in Dallas. So obviously it's pre-recorded made a couple days ago And what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be playing Brock and the reason we're gonna be playing Brock is because currently I didn't even realize this I pushed Brock to 800 on the first day of the season just for fun And I didn't realize we are the number one Brock in the world and have been without playing Brock for like the last week and a half I want to say so Let's get some gameplay we're going to talk a little bit about how you want to play Brock, where you want to play Brock, and just what makes Brock so good. Now, just real quick, here's the boys' Twitter. Uh, both of them amazing, amazing players. So if you guys want to play with, uh, or if you guys want to see some epic clips, uh, just keep up to date with the pro Brawl Stars world. You know, definitely follow these guys on Twitter. With that being said, let's hop into our first game. Okay, so what we're going to be doing first, we're going to be playing some Siege. Now, we face this team... Like five times already. I'm just warming up for PBL NA week three. And we're we're like three and one against them right now, I think. But I was making a video in the process, so I wasn't really playing that much of a sweaty brawler. I wasn't really trying too hard. So right here you can see we have the middle control. And obviously, this goes without saying, what Brock is super, super good at is holding down a long lair uh not Lero, a long narrow lane. And you know, obviously his super is really, really good. What you want to be doing with him in Siege is you want to play not necessarily with the thrower, although playing with the thrower doesn't hurt. It complements him very well. What you guys want to be doing is playing with very sound brawlers. So what we're going to be doing here is breaking that wall. The reason we're going to be breaking the wall is because we can allow the one push with that. So let's try and get our super back over here. to be a little bit unsuccessful with our shots. So this allows the, this allows the bot to instead of wasting time and trying to go around, you're just going to be able to go straight for the Ike. So obviously, something you guys want to do with Brock is go for that explosive damage. You know, a lot of people don't go for that, and I find that people who do go for that explosive damage are people who tend to be very good Brock players. Now, I would keep that in mind when playing Brock. You know, people can be hiding behind a wall, and you can just hit that wall and kill them like that. So obviously, that wasn't the greatest super in the world. I was kind of just pulling it for fun. But the next the next area I want to super is kind of where Feli is standing, because that's where they're going to be hiding. He's going to be going for Feli over there. I'm going to miss a shot. I probably should have auto him that one. I'm going to pretend to go over there. Get that easy one shot on him. Looks like Feli's doing a good job pushing him. He's going to go down. And again, with Brock, if you need some damage, you can just walk in there and start firing at the Ike. And you will be able to hit a couple shots on it. Uh, we're holding lane decently well over here. Again, that hit a wall, but that's still going to be able to hit him. We're going to be breaking this wall over here, and luckily, you know, the Penny is just going to chill there, so we are able to get that hit on her as well to charge our super back for our push. But again, that part's just open now for us. We're going to be in a nice, you know, controlled area where people can't really hit us, and we're just going to be feeding and feasting on being able to hit them. So we're just getting our super over here and just shooting that safe. Uh, we're just going to continuously shoot the Ike. I don't know if we're going to be able to want her to get it all the way here yeah we're not gonna be able to we're definitely gonna be able to on the next push we have we're able to hit him over there so i'm gonna get a this is a pretty good super although it only hit one it did force them to go back and a lot of people are very uh very very selective about when they use their brock supers like just just fire away that's a, that's always been my kind of go-to when i have a super is i don't really want to hold it for too long just because in the time you're holding it you could have shot it had an X, X percent chance of hitting it, and then just, you know, you can charge it back. So why hold it if you can just charge it back? So we're going to be tapping Froggy over here. We are going to be able to get him. And yeah, we have nine bolts. So it's just a pretty dominating win. You know, they're only able to get three for the entirety of the game. Let's see if we can do a little bit more damage. Uh, but obviously, you know, the goal is just to stay alive. I guess we'll super this guy since he gave up. Going to miss the entirety of the super big rip. But yeah, we're just going to be able to walk forward and just absolutely destroy the Ike, finish the game, and that is going to be it for the first game on Brock. Oh, 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 okay. So here we go into the second game, and no surprise, we're facing this exact same team again. Now, we are lagging for some reason. It's just showing that big brawl in the middle. There we go. We're back into this game. Obviously, big advantage for that other team because I was AFK at the start. We are able to get that kill, though. Really good job by my teammates to be able to hold it up and do that three on two. You know, it just shows the skill level that these guys have that I'm playing with. So we're able to get that kill. Obviously, we just need one more shot, and we're going to break this wall over here, which I've already spoken for. Last video about why we break that wall. So we're going to help second best over here with that pinch on Master Froggy. 
he was able to just go up and be able to kill him. Ooh, don't want to be in distance of that guy over there. Looks like we are going to be anyways. Wow. All right, so we did get a level 5 bot. Second best getting that revenge pull for me. He's able to take out the opposing gene. I'm just going to rush back and follow that bot. Looks like that barley is going to go for that super. Able to hit him. Gene is one shot for us. We're just going to walk up and get that easy auto aim on him. They did defend, I don't know about well, but they defended decently. 52% done. That's not, I mean, it's not a one push, I guess. So we're currently up. Uh, we're going to get pulled. Hopefully the thing cashes in. No, it's not going to be able to count for us. Belly's going to go down over there to Master Froggy. So we are going to have to get some bolts fast if we want to be able to get this next siege. Just going to super this area over here, because obviously that's where the gene is going to be. Oh no. Ming Wung is one shot, but so are we, and it's a lot easier for him to hit us than it is for us to hit him. Feli is going to be able to take out their barley, but he's going to go down as well. Good kill over there by second best on the Carl. Don't want to get pulled. Oh, we're just getting bullied at this point, but we were able to hit both of them. So that is going to give us actually some really good value. It's actually not the worst thing in the world that actually could happen for us over there. I'm going to stand over here and take this shot. The fire is going to help a lot. Second's going to get that pull over there and you're just going to see the bot going right near him. I'm going to use our super. Oh, I was hoping Min Moon would follow. Okay, we were able to get the gene a little bit. So that is actually not the worst defense. That was pretty good. Brock isn't that amazing on defense. There's not really much you can do with him on defense. But yeah, you just got to win that mid possession and get him on offense. Obviously, this isn't the best map for Brock. I'm just trying to display what he's decent at in Siege. We're going to be able maybe to get that shot. I don't think so. I think he's going to cut back to the bottom now. All right, I guess, I guess good play by him. We're going to be able to get that tap over there. Froggy is going to be able to chase us. I think they're going to get this. Oh, boy. Yeah, they're going to get this bot again. It's kind of an unnecessary super. Is it even going to hit? Yeah, well, okay. It's not bad since it hit, I guess. But we're going to have to have some really good defense here to let them not win. Or to have them not win, not let them. Hopefully second has pulled. Okay, he does. I'm just going to kind of stand over there, do some work. Second obviously has to pull that bot. He's going to be able to get that pull off. And I'm just going to have to just body block, basically. Stand with him right over here. And that's going to be some really solid defense on, from our part to not let them win that game. Now, obviously, we need to get this bot. It's 5-3 to three currently. Don't want to go there because Carl's just going to absolutely shred me over there. Okay, we are able to get one kill or one hit on him. Hopefully, he doesn't regen. We're going to go here now that just because he's low. And it's looking really even at this point, to be honest. We're going to back up and be able to get these bolts over here. We do have our side very well. Looks like second is going to miss that pull, which is super unfortunate. We likely do have to get this kill, though. I have to pick it up before the five second mark. Okay, I am going to be able to. I think we do. I think we have it. Okay, yeah. We do have this push because we were able to get that kill in a very, very, very timely manner. But yeah, this is looking like the game over here unless they defend unbelievably well. And I don't think there's a way that they can stop it. Ming Wun is going to go in over there. Really good play by him. Just going to wait for that bot to go in. Just because we do have our super and I'm just going to super the Ike over here. Gonna get a few shots on it just to ensure that we get the dub. Actually, if they body block it. Oh, it's not done actually. So we're gonna be pushing, and that's gonna be a tie. Yeah, so it's gonna be the tie for that game. GG's to them, but yeah, gonna stay as a tie. So here we go, and. We're going to go into the final game, but it's going to be in Bounty, just because obviously Bounty is Brock's number one mode, and I wanted to display that a little bit, so we're really lucky that Bounty was actually in the rotation today, because, you know, it's only like 50% in there, I think, I'm not sure. But yeah, obviously what you guys want to do with him, if it wasn't obvious already, keep your distance. Uh, dependent on the matchup, obviously, is how close you want to be, like, for example, with Dynamite, you want to keep your distance. But if you're, like, facing a Piper, like, you can see they have a Piper on their team, you actually want to go kind of close to her. Just because, you know, the Piper can't do that much damage to you from up close, but you can do a lot. We're going to get a tap over there. Hopefully we're able to get that second tap. Oh, I walked right back into the shot. Yeah, we were able to get that kill. It looks like they do enjoy that right side a lot for some reason. 
We're going to go up with the super over here on the mic. Should be able to get him. Oh, got him on the bounce back down. We're going to be able to get a tap over there. We do knew, we did know that somebody was following us. Going to move back onto this left side since they're not suspecting it. Give it a couple sprays. Okay, they're all on the right side. Second's going to get pulled over there. Trying to identify where their piper is. Belly is going to be killed. I'm going to super this side just because he's probably going to cut back there. Easy kill for a second. I'm not going to be able to get him and he's going to miss his super. But we're going to be pulled actually and that's, that's interesting. So now we're down three. 33 seconds left. Good kill over there by second. So it's 13 to 13 right now. Oh no, Wi-Fi, don't do me dirty now. Ooh, second's going to go down actually. Okay, so we got 24 seconds. All right, so we're able to get one kill over there on someone that has four stars. So we're looking good over here. Second's going to get that pull. We're going to be able to get that kill. Oh, Feli, what are you doing? Oh, no, I'm caught between the water. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, we're able to get a kill over there. We're walking back. Okay, this is looking good now. As long as we don't die, that's a dub. And it looks like we're going to be fine. And that is going to be the win. So that was a pretty intense bounty game. Usually bounty games aren't that intense. That's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that number one in the Brock World gameplay. Um, obviously, this is the last video that I'm going to be have recorded for when I'm in Dallas. So I hope you guys... Are being patient with it, you know, it's only going to be a couple days. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. That's going to be it for today. Catch you later. Peace.